In this exercise, we will be converting binary numbers to decimal numbers. For example, if there is a binary number that is 1011, we will convert into decimal that is 11. So how do we do this? If you already know how to convert binary to decimal, you can skip a few seconds. If you don't, let me show it to you. This is how you do that. So if we have a binary like 10011011, right? What do we do is we first power 2 to the position of each of these numbers. So but starting from right, right? So here the position is 0, the position is 1, the position is 2, the position is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 8 digits here and that is the total of 7 positions starting from 0th position. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8 and so on. So as you can see here, just look at these two rows. This is the actual binary and this is 2 to the power of the position of uh, the digits here, position of the digits here, yeah. So now what do we need to do is we just multiply these two. 1, 1 to the power of 1 is 1, sorry, 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, 4 multiplied by 0 is 0, 8 multiplied by 1 is 8, 16 multiplied by 1 is 16 and so on. And finally, we just add all these things and we have our decimal. So what do we do? To summarize, we power 2 to the position we are in at. And then we multiply this power 2 power by the binary. And then we add all of these, things, these stuff. And then we have our decimal. So first thing to note here is when we are looping, our loop starts from here, right? So first we will traverse 1, then 0, then 0. But we need to traverse from here, from the right side. So we will need to reverse this when we are doing this. So let's do that. First, let's say our binary is 10110001111, something like this. And let's create a function. We take our binary and what do we need to do first we need to reverse it right because we will have to definitely run a loop and loop starts from left if this is a list so we will first do reversed reverse binary equals to binary dot okay reversed and then binary so there is this inbuilt function reverse that will just reverse binary or if you have been following this tutorial series there is a reverse string function here and if you go inside here as you can see okay this is uh, i think <laughs> pyramid stuff here uh, you can just easily reverse by doing this also all right so our reverse is in binary and what we will do we will now loop for i in range range of what length of our reverse binary what do we do first let me just let's say the reverse is let's take this for example the reverse becomes 1101 1, right so what do we do we first let's define our decimal here We first calculate 2 power, right? So let's say 2 power equals to 2 to the power of i, that is this. And then what we do? We calculate this and then we multiply it to whatever we have in the first here, right? So we multiply it to reverse binary i and then we just add it decimal equals to decimal plus whatever we have here and finally we return our decimal okay now let's just see what happens our decimal becomes 
but more to decimal and then our binary so we print using f strings binary to decimal is what is it it is decimal now let's run this and let's see if this runs or if we get any errors okay so we are doing decimal plus two powered now this plus cannot be applied to a string so we need to convert this to string sorry integer and now let's run this again okay we have an error here let me try to fix this okay one two three okay so reverse binary is also string so it is repeating if this is uh zero and we have one here it becomes zero if this is one and we have two here it becomes one one so it's not actually multiplying it's just repeating it because reverse binary is string right so we need to convert this to integer also now let's run this and we should have our solution okay so this to decimal is 710 let's see if this is correct because we know this is 11 let's copy and paste it here and let's run this and let's see if we get 11 it's not 11 it's actually 13 <laughs> yeah this is 11 and we had reversed it here so let's check this and let's see if we get 11 yes we do so now you know how you can calculate decimal from binary if you have any questions let me know in the comments below